Welcome to Wander, Explore, Discover. Today we're doing a day trip to Magnetic Island. We're currently doing the Forts Walk up to the highest point on Maggie Island and on the way up here we saw a koala. Magnetic Island is located 8 kilometres from Townsville in tropical North Queensland. Conservation and National Parks covers 78% of the island's landscape and it has 23 stunning beaches and 24 kilometres of walking trails. It is also home to the largest colony of koalas in North Queensland. The island is accessible from the Townsville Breakwater to the Nellie Bay Harbour by passenger and vehicle ferry. Sealink operates the passenger ferries and has 18 daily trips. Each trip takes 20 minutes on their high-speed catamarans. Magnetic Island Ferries operates the vehicle ferries and has 8 daily trips. Each one of these takes 35 minutes. If you want more places to wander, explore and discover, subscribe to our channel for new videos every week. In today's video, we head over to Magnetic Island on the vehicle ferry and see some koalas and amazing views on the Forts Walk. We find the shipwreck SS City of Adelaide and enjoy a fresh seafood lunch at the Picnic Bay Pub. After lunch, we explored the amazing beaches and saw the rock wallabies before enjoying a fantastic sunset on the ferry back to Townsville. The most popular walk on Magnetic Island is the Forts Walk. This Grade 3 4km return track takes approximately 2 hours to complete. Along the way you can see World War II relics, stunning views and if you look carefully wild koalas in the eucalyptus trees. This heritage listed site protects Queensland's best preserved World War II coastal defence fortifications. A historical interpretive display explains the ruins and buildings, and a touch button recording brings to life the stories of the men and women who served on Magnetic Island during the war. You can find the SS City of Adelaide shipwreck 300 metres off the shores of Cockle Bay. This 77 metre ship was constructed in Glasgow in 1864 and spent many years as a passenger ship before being converted to a coal storage vessel in 1902. The coal on board caught fire in 1912 and the City of Adelaide burned for two days. In 1915, a Magnetic Island businessman purchased the ship with plans to refit it as tourist accommodation or as a breakwater in Picnic Bay. Unfortunately, the ship ran aground in Cockle Bay in 1916 whilst being transported, and it is now a tourist attraction with mangroves growing on board. It is possible to walk out to the shipwreck at low tide.
At the Picnic Bay Hotel, we had a lovely seafood platter for lunch. We wandered along the historic Picnic Bay jetty and enjoyed stunning views across Cleveland Bay. After lunch we drove around the island and visited some of the stunning beaches where you can swim, snorkel or sit back and relax in paradise. Next we head to the old Arcadia jetty at Jeffrey Bay to see the allied rock wallabies. The best time to see them is early in the morning or later in the afternoon. After our wonderful day on Magnetic Island, we sit back and watch the sunset on the ferry ride back to Townsville. We hope you enjoyed today's video. You can find more information and places to explore at wanderexplorediscover.com.